Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Sip and Review. My name is Chantel and today I will be doing a commentary on Sisters, Season 2, Episode 15. This is my recap on the show. I will go over what I saw on the show and I will commentate on what I thought about this episode, guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell to be notified whenever I post a new video. And hit the thumbs up to give this video a like. So guys, let's jump right into it. Danny arrived home and she found Preston sitting at her doorstep injured. If you guys recall, this is where the show left off at when she arrived at home he was sitting outside at her doorstep so it pretty much just picked up where it left off so he told her that his brothers attacked him because they didn't want him dating a black girl which is true danny asked preston to tell her why his brothers beat him up and you know he didn't want to tell her, although we all know the reason why they did it is because he was dating her. So, this was before he knew that Danny got a visit to her job from his brothers, so she was already aware of the situation. Preston, he just wanted to be sure that they didn't touch her after finding out that they did in fact come to her job. So came to her job so when Danny told Preston that she ran them over with the cart he was glad that she did and he told her that he wants to be with her and that's why his brothers beat him up shaking my head y'all like times are still kind of like they were back in that day but people are now starting to be more open with the fact that white folks like to date black people but that's a whole nother story guys so moving on Preston said that he's loving being with Danny and they're not going to stop that Danny tried to break up with Preston to keep the peace with his brothers and Preston refused you know once you go black you never go back that's what they say lol so Preston told Danny that she's the best thing that ever happened to him and that he's not going nowhere, period. Preston said that she wasn't a bet because his brothers did tell her that she was just a bet and that he wasn't supposed to fall for her. So he said that his sister is more open-minded and that she's not like their other brothers because we do know that he and his sister was at the airport when he did approach Danny so you got that whip appeal so come on and whip it on me I'm hearing babyface song playing in my head at this moment when he said that to Danny okay she did whip it on him call it what you want moving on Calvin moved in with Maurice and he's already rearranging the man's furniture. Maurice told Calvin to put it back. LOL. Maurice likes to look into other people's apartments for entertainment. Shaking my head. Now that's some weird shit going on. But whatever his story is, he's not sharing the real reason why he likes to look at people's windows. Anyway, Calvin is going on a date with a girl that he met online Calvin is moving on because Sabrina don't want to date him in his cute underwear laughing my ass off Maurice told Calvin that Sabrina wants a thug and he's the metro too metro for her you know he's a metro type so that's what they are calling it these days metro for short I get what he's saying though Maurice is tired of Calvin and Sabrina damn shenanigans. Maurice told Calvin, don't slam my damn door, B. LOL, because Calvin got mad and walked out and slammed the door because Maurice wasn't sharing too much information about this new guy that Sabrina is feeling at the bank. So, 
Maurice, he sure does keep me laughing, y'all. I just love to see when Maurice is on the episodes, okay? Because Maurice don't care what he says, and I love it. He just keep it real with whatever's on his mind. He will let you know. So don't even try to come from Maurice, okay? Because he will put you in your place. So we moved on to Andy. Andy arrived home to our apartment filled with flowers and a love letter from Gary. Andy called the night doorman to come get those flowers out of her apartment and that she wasn't expecting any more deliveries because she is done with Gary and all of his lies with his married ass. Do y'all think that Andy is really over Gary though? I sure do hope that she is. He's no good for her. And we all know that if you have been watching this show and following the seasons all the way from season one. He just doesn't mean her any good. Andy called the doorman on the phone. And he did come up to get those flowers that Gary left for her. So, and... He told her that the word on the streets is that she's dating a married man. And his wife was passing out flowers. Guys, remember, she was passing out flowers with her face on it, trying to warn everyone about Andy, acting like it was all Andy, when actually it was the both of them. Your husband was cheating on you with her. So, you seem like you were more mad with her than him to me, though, from watching the previous episodes. So, come to find out, the doorman, doorman, I'm sorry, that came to her house actually is the son of the owner of the apartments that she live in, or condos, or whatever you want to call it. He is the guy that's in the penthouse that Andy said that kept on flirting with her, and she didn't really want to be bothered with him because she has learned her lesson about messing with a married man. Okay, so yes, Andy, you do need to keep your mouth shut because you just spilled all the tea to Nicholas Phelps unknowingly that that is actually the owner's son. Okay, so we moved on to Zach. Zach arrived to Fatima's house and she was wearing lingerie. Zach pulled Fatima in the shower with him and he put it on her just like I said on my last commentary. He was trying to flex acting like he didn't want to bust it down but that's exactly what he did okay. What man you know can't really resist a woman coming to the door wearing lingerie smelling good and looking good so boy bye. So we move on to Karen. She's at home talking to her bae Aaron and he told Karen that if they do have sex, it will complicate things with them. Karen said that she don't know how long she can go without sex. He's talking about marriage and Karen don't want that. He told Karen that it would upset him if she had sex with someone else. So, you want this woman to keep it tight and not have sex with anyone else while you lay your fine ass next to her, okay? And you expect her to hold out. But I do get what you're saying. I can see that if she really wants to be with you, she would hold out and wait until you're ready. So the same thing goes for women, just as it goes for men. Women do be expecting men to hold out. So he wants to see if she can hold out. So we move back on to Danny. Why is Danny so rough, though? She can't be a nurse depressing, y'all. Be gentle, girl. You know the man just got beat up by his brothers, and you up there being all rough. Gentle, okay? The man got bruises and all from his brothers. Preston told Danny that he is, wants to live with her, but however, he prefers to be at the hotel okay because he don't want you know anything else to happen with her basically to complicate things because of the situation going on with his brothers so after danny convinced him that she's perfectly fine with him living there preston told danny that he is going to live with her and he'll pay the full rent 
press them. Do you need my phone number? Because you can pay my rent too. LOL. I'm just kidding, y'all. Meanwhile, back to Karen. Aaron is lying in bed next to her half naked, okay? And he don't want to have sex with her, but he woke up with a hard on. So, he better go put on some clothes, you know? Because don't be teasing me like that. Shaking my head. If it were me, you know, you can't be laying up next to me with a hard on talking about you don't really want to have sex. So, Karen said that she used to be celibate. And Aaron... He's doing nothing but playing hard to get. Like I said previously, you know, he's just testing her on purpose. And he also said that she was calling out Zach's name in her sleep while lying in bed next to Aaron. So I don't know what that's all about. But after seeing how Zach put it on for Tima in the shower, I know why she was calling out zach's name in her sleep zach is fine y'all i'm just saying moving on fatima hair is a mess you know after last night what happened between her and zach in the shower you know you just can't get a girl's hair wet and it's back and not to poof up why her hairdresser is karen though zach's ex wow it's a small world now i do kind of remember on the last season that she did go and get her hair done by karen on a previous episode and now fatima is dating her ex zach so we move on to the part to where karen she picked up to her police report from the police station and Zach is going to go to jail for credit card fraud. So Brittany didn't really say whether or not he did it or not. Because I was still expecting to see that on this episode. I thought they would let us know, you know, what the report was. Because Sabrina did say that she knew some people that could get her the information, you know, to show whether Zach actually did make all those charges on her credit card. However... If he did do it, you know, he needs to pay for his crimes. If he did do it to her, that is messed up because, you know, she has been putting up with his shit, did him for a while. And if he didn't do it, it's wrong to put him in jail for something that he did not do because no one who's innocent should have to go to prison for something that they did not do. So moving back to sabrina so they showed the scene where sabrina was wondering why calvin didn't call her back sabrina one minute you want calvin and the next minute you don't want him i see why maurice is getting a split and headache messing with y'all with all y'all shenanigans don't nobody have time for that girl either you want the man or not but i wouldn't be letting her stress me out with that because you know, the girl is still confused, girl. Just go with your gut feelings. If you know that you really want to be with Calvin, then be with him. If you don't want to be with the man, then move the fuck on. Because we are all tired of you and Calvin with that back and forth. Okay? So, girl, bye. So, we moved to the scene where Zach was riding his truck. And Zach got pulled over by the police. And... You know, they ran his license and registration, etc. And they found out that he has a warrant out for his arrest because Karen did press charges on him. So, they are going to take him to jail because he's wanted. And Zach, he had no idea what was going on. So, at this point, they did not tell him. You know, I'm sorry, when the police pulled him over, he didn't tell him why he was being arrested and you know zach does need to know like you can't just pull me over and put the silver bracelets on me without telling me why you are arresting me so that's something he shall find out when he does get to the police station so y'all that was the end of that show but i just want to know are y'all ready for tyler perry's the oval i can't wait that's my show y'all i can't even lie everybody knows not to disturb me while the oval is on 
period. So I will most definitely be doing a recap. Go and check out my playlist. I did do a recap a while back on the season finale. And if you guys did watch the Wendy Williams show, the same girl that plays as his wife is in the Oval. So go check that out and get caught up because I will be doing a recap on the episode. Okay? And that's all you girl have to say. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to check out my playlist. Subscribe to your girl's channel and hit that bell to be notified whenever I post a new video, guys. Although, my channel does say that I post videos weekly. I have been posting videos more often than on a weekly basis. I post videos more like on a daily basis, if not every other day. And... That is the end of my commentary, guys. I will see you on my next video. And you all have a blessed day. Please go subscribe to my Instagram channel as well. Because I did create a new page for those of you that don't know. And that's it for me. Bye now.